Memphis, there's a measuring tape in front of you. Do you want to tell everybody what we're going to do today? Yeah? So today, Shelby's like, nope, I know what's going on, I'm out. We are going to show you guys not only the harnesses that we use, but how to properly measure your dog to wear to get fitted for one of these harnesses so you can order one on your own. Um, now before we get too far into this, there is a link down in the video description below and a coupon code for alpineoutfitters.net where you can get a discount on your harness. I also want to let you guys know that the harnesses can take four to six weeks to come. Because it's peak season, they can actually take six to ten weeks. Normally they don't take that long, but if you're planning on getting one, you definitely want to get one ordered. So today we're going to be showing you how to measure a crossback harness, which is the harnesses we use for the dogs for sledding, and then also the urban trail harness. Now these are the harnesses you guys see in pretty much all of our adventure videos, any of our hiking videos, this is the harness you guys see. That's the harness we use to walk the dogs. Pretty much this is our everyday use harness. Mm -hmm. This is like, hey, does this mean we're going somewhere? Mm -hmm. Okay, so before you even get started, you are going to need a tape measure like this, one of these nice bendable tape measures. You're going to need a piece of paper and something to write with so you can keep track of the measurements because you don't want to get them confused. And another good thing to have is a second person. <laughs> it, it is much easier to measure a dog for a harness if you have two people. One person to kind of keep the dog distracted and the other person to do the measuring. All right, so the first harness we are going to measure for is the Urban Trail Harness. And as I said, this is pretty much our all the time use harness. Shelby's like, forget it, I'm out. <laughs> you see her earlier, yeah. and I say, she, she knows it's harness. What, you don't want the harness on? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to measure the neck. And you will actually need this measurement for both harnesses. So what we need to do is we need to measure from the top of the breastbone in the front of the dog to the point of the withers at the base of the neck. And we're only going to measure the one side and then we're going to double it to get our full measurements. So, so I'm going to come over here because you want to make sure that the dog is square. Yeah, Treats go. definitely help. Head up and a little loose right between the withers is about 14. All right. And then you'll double that number. Uh, and remember when you're doing this, don't pull the tape super tight. You want to make sure that it's semi-loose as you're doing it. Oh, would you like another cookie? Um, you're going to get a lot of cookies through this process. Yeah, about 14. All right. <laughs> okay, so now that we have Shelby's attention again, we are going to measure the number two measurement, which is the mid-rib. We are going to measure from the top of her breastbone down between her front legs to the midpoint of her rib cage, which is kind of the belly of the dog where the sternum ends. So basically we're measuring the length of the dog's sternum. <laughs> Shelby's like, no, we're not. <laughs> uh, and this is why it's easier with two people. <laughs> So we're going to go from the middle underneath Yep. to the middle of her belly underneath? From her breastbone to her sternum. Okay. So let me come help you. <laughs> Shelby's like, are, are you putting a harness on me? Okay. I would say that's the length of her ribs. So you kind of want to make sure that their bodies are square. So I'm going to hold Shelby's head up. So the tape, you can see the tape in my hand right here. We're going to want to stop it just in front of her front legs. Yep, I'll bring this over here so you can kind of yep, see it. So about there. breastbone and then under mm -hmm. here is the base of the sternum. So right under her ribs. And we're gonna get that measurement. And I think I got it. I you're we're... so good. I think you're pretty square. It looks All like right. a 14 again. All right. So the next part that we're measuring is the midsection. We are actually going to measure the widest part of the center of Shelby. I'm coming to help. Which is which is going to be pretty much right behind her back legs. Yep. That's pretty her much... Her front. Thing. Right behind her back. Right there. Right here. Her right front here. legs. Yep. Right behind her front oh, legs. Oh, hi, Shelby. It's a pretty wide section. We're going to see how many different ones. I got 32 at light fluff. Let's see if I can get... And you don't want to pull the tape super tight. You want to make sure that it's, it's semi loose. About, it's about 32. Yep. I would say 32 is the biggest right there. That's 32 right there. All right. I think we have all our measurements. So that's the urban harness. So once you get your urban trail harness, it will kind of look like this. Shelby is sporting her urban trail harness. You can see uh, 
this one, like we said, is adjustable. So you always wanna make sure that there's a little bit of space. You don't wanna make the harnesses too tight when you put them on, fit a finger or two underneath there. <laughs> I bought the ones with the reflectors on them because I, we do walk the dogs at night. I also wanted to point out, I do get the 3D rings. Why do I do this? When I bike with the dogs, I use these. So depending on what side they're on, because I use the Springer when I bike with them. If I bike with them in front of me, I use this. I also use this if I'm just walking the dogs. You don't necessarily have to get all 3D rings, but I do like having the option. And since it's not something you want to wish you had, I would just get it. <laughs> you look yeah, pretty you, cute. If you have a Springer, it would be ideal to get the 3D. Yep. If at any point in time the dog is going to be pulling off to the side of you, you definitely want to get the side D rings as well. So next, we are going to show you guys how to measure for a crossback harness. Now this is the harness we use when going dog sledding for the dogs. Jamie's holding up Memphis's harness right now. Look, Shelby's more interested in Memphis's harnesses than she is her own. So we're gonna show you guys how to properly measure for a crossback harness. So basically we wanna do a lot of the same things we did measuring the other harness. Make sure your dog's standing straight and level. Use a soft measuring tape. Don't pull it too tight. But there's different points we need to measure for this harness. So the points we are gonna need for this one are the neck, the last rib, and then the length. And you're gonna, well, like I said before, wanna make sure to write those down to make it a little easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure the neck. And actually, we already measured her neck in the other part of this video. So it's exactly the same. You measure, measure their neck, double the number, do just like we did in the beginning part of this video. But now we're gonna show you guys how to measure the last rib, which is actually point A to point C. So we're gonna measure from the top of the breastbone down between the front legs, up the side of the dog diagonally, towards the base of the tail. Take the measurement just behind the last rib. So that's what we're gonna do now. <laughs> She's like, oh, cookies? Cookies, I like cookies. So we gotta get the breastbone. Jamie's gonna find that first. And yep. then all the way back, and then you kinda come up like you're going towards their tail to their last rib. So it's kind of going to angle out. And her last rib is actually way back here. It it comes curved. So you don't want to stop right here at the last rib. You want to stop here yep. at the last rib. So kind of just rub their belly and you can feel their ribs start. And, and just go straight down from there. So and then you like, you pull up up here a little. Oh yeah, up on the, up on, at the rib, at last the rib. rib. Make sure you're measuring at the rib. Because it is going to come up and around. Yep. So what's that one? I get 17. Okay. Yep, and it's 17. 17, all right, we'll write that down. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna measure is measurement number three, they call it the length on the website. It is point C to point D. We're gonna hold the tape at the last rib and continue along the same line as we did when we measured for the last rib. And we are going to go from the last rib to the base of the tail. But you gotta be really careful that you don't measure this too long because the harness will come down over their hips and it will <laughs> restrict their movement. <laughs> We need more cookies for Shelby. She's figured this out. She's like, cookies and I will do this. No cookies, I'm not doing this. Check cookies. <laughs> uh, so we gotta get one more measurement. All right, come here, Shelby. So we're gonna wanna go from I'm that same go. rib right there. Yep. Come here. See if I can hold that. You gotta stand, you gotta stand normal. <laughs> here, let's bring her this way so she's in the screen. Okay. So pretty much. Thanks for holding her. To the base of her tail. Yep. Whoop. I would say that's 10 and they said don't make don't make it too long make it too long it'll the harness will pull down on their rear end yeah because so. because it, it's gonna be pulling from right here so that's that's what we're trying to figure out is where that pull is gonna be if it's way out here it's gonna come way down and it's gonna push their butt down so we want to make sure that it ends right at the base of her tail I would actually say that's probably uh, to be loose we will go 10 and the other thing is, you guys, we didn't do it on video because we've already done this before. Measure twice. Yeah. Do the whole thing, let the dog relax for a few minutes, and then do it again. That way you're going to get a better measurement. So this is what we did as we measured. We made sure to write down what we needed and the measurement. So when we go to order them on the website, we have all the information we need. So Memphis is wearing her crossback harness. And from the measurements you guys saw, you can kind of see 
neck measurements. You can fit a couple fingers in there. You don't want it to be super tight. Here's where we had to come up and measure to the base of her ribs. And then here was the length. And so you want to make sure so that when this is hooked up to the sled, it's not pulling down and restricting their hips. So Memphis has been properly fitted for a crossback harness. Come on, Memphis. Hike, hike, you want to go hike, hike, hike? <laughs> yeah, go hike, hike, hike. She's like, but I'm being a puppy model. Can I just be a puppy model? Sure, you can be a puppy model as well. <laughs> and don't think Miss Oakley's left out. She has harnesses as well. That is her urban trail harness. And then this is her sled harness. It is brown. It's not blue. So this is Oakley's harness. And you guys may notice that unlike Memphis's, whose is green and Shelby's, whose is purple, Oakley's is brown and black. The reasoning behind this is, is I actually ordered Oakley's harness as a quick ship harness. So the ones that Shelby and Memphis have are custom fitted, but they also have quick ship harnesses where you can measure your dog and you can get a harness that's pretty close to what you need. We did this for Oakley when we first ordered her harness because we needed it to get here because it was winter time. So if you want to get one faster, they do offer a lot of quick ship harnesses. They're just limited in color. Or you can order fully custom in the color that you want. So there you go, you guys, a video you have been asking for for a long time. If you have more questions about how to measure your dog's harnesses, leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer as many as I can. You can also reach out to the people at Alpine Outfitters when you go to order your harness. They're super awesome people. Again, as I said, if you're ordering custom harnesses, remember it can take four to six weeks, and then during peak times, it can actually take six to ten weeks. Normally it doesn't take that long, but you have to expect that it could take that long during racing season. <laughs> the girls are like, we can smell the snow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and again, link to the website down in the video description below, along with a coupon code so you guys can get a little discount. And the discount is for anything on the site. Alpine Outfitters is also the site where we get our walking belt, which I use a scajoring belt for walking, where we get our collars that the dogs wear when we're camping. And I can do more videos on those in the future if you guys want me to. Let me know down in the comments below. That's all we have for today. As always, if you guys are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. Hopefully, in the next couple days here, uh, we'll have some more snow and we can go sledding when Shelby gets her stitches out. Alright you guys, see you later. Bye! Memphis, go hike, hike, hike. Hike, 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 let's go! Let's go! She's like, there's no sled behind me. <laughs>